most mysterious creature in this country is known as the Zabadoo. You think there really is a creature like the Zabadoo? I never saw him again. Do you think your friend could still be alive? You gotta go rescue that poor guy. Me? I've arranged for a local guide to drive us there. Her name is Angie. The Zabadoo's mine, you got that? Odie, no! Don't go near it! John, great to see you. I thought for sure I was a goner. But then, the oddest thing happened. The Zabadoo picked me up and carried me off. It carried me to this cabin, the one we're all in right now. It took me in here and bandaged my leg. And then, Whoa. just when I thought things couldn't get any weirder, it spoke to me. I set your broken leg. You're fortunate I used to be a doctor. The Zabadoo used to be a doctor? No, a doctor used to be the Zabadoo. His name was Sam, and he was a retired sergeant. Years ago, he came to this area on vacation. In fact, he was a hunter, but he didn't like that some hunters were hunting where they weren't supposed to. Oh. There's this local legend about a creature called the Zabadoo. I never believed for a minute there was such a creature, but I, I figured it... You figured if you made yourself a costume and dressed up as the Zabadoo... I could scare them off, right? And that's what he did. He made a costume, and any time a hunter ventured where he wasn't supposed to... Ooh. Ah! 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 It's the Zabadoo! I'm sorry, Mr. Zabadoo! I'll never hunt this area again! I thought it was a great idea, and the animals around here liked it too. He was such a wonderful man. I stayed around to help him out. When Sam passed away, I took it over. His cabin, his costume, his mission. That's wonderful, Lyman. A great thing you're doing, my friend. <laughs> Here, I'll help you out. Blow that thing you call a nose. Good. I'm gonna go out to see if there's any lunch left in Angie's vehicle. Wanna come with me? Didn't come with me. <laughs> So noble of you, protecting all these endangered animals. You make a great Zabadoo. Here, you didn't see the whole routine. I'm on constant patrol. And when I see a hunter where he shouldn't be... <laughs> boogie boogie. <laughs> <laughs> I got it, Buckley. I got photographic proof that the Zabadoo is a big fraud. If you publish that, you'll ruin the guys' whole routine here helping the animals. Yeah, but these pictures will be worth the fortune of that TV show. And besides, who cares about a lot of stupid animals anyway? Easy, boy. Hey, Mark, leave me alone! Got it. Hey, cat! You give me back that camera! Nope, I don't think I'll do that. We've got to catch that cat! The photos in that camera are worth a fortune! Get off me, ma! What is it, boy? He won't get away from us! I'm determined! I'm willing to put your life on the line! You think so, Dick? That vehicle, it belongs to Dirk Dinkum. It looks like Odie wants us to follow him. <laughs> looks like there's a detour up ahead. The blood must have gone into that cave. We've got him trapped. Good work, mate. Where's the camera? This is great. Just great. <laughs> oh, this is great. Just great. <sighs> I'll take my camera back, cat. <laughs> Another stupid animal always causing trouble. Another stupid animal always causing trouble. Hmm. You know what I've got a hankering for? Rotisserie Mockingbird. Bye now. I really don't oh. like this guy. Oh. <laughs> 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 
Hey, animals ain't so bad, Dinkle. Shut up, Buckley. Animals are only good for two things. Wearing them and eating them. Once I expose this Zabadoo hoax, I may come back here and bag me a couple of those, uh, what you call them? Endangered species. <laughs> And you're not going to be fooling me with that hokey routine. <laughs> All right, you can take off that ratty costume, fella. No, that's not the guy in the ratty costume. That's the guy in the ratty costume. Hi, Pinkham. How's it going? Jabaku! Jabaku! Well, now we know why he's called the Zabadu. Wait for me, mate! We all thought it was just a legend. And it turns out there's a real Zabadoo. Gee, he's not bad in the role. I don't think they'll be needing this. <laughs> because neither of them will ever tell anyone about what happened here. The Zabadoo? He's out of here. His job's done. Zabadoo! Zabadoo! I guess he's like Vito the pizza maker. Huh? Yeah, he shows up when he's really, really needed. <laughs> John, I can't thank you and Garfield enough. I want to spend the rest of my life helping the animals here, and you made that possible. Plus, you brought Odie back to me. Oh. Huh? You're... Uh. You're keeping Odie here? Well, of course. Huh? He's my dog. Yes. Yes, he is. John, you can't let... I mean... You... Here, Odie. Say farewell to your friend Garfield. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of how I feel about it, too. But hey, you're back with your buddy Lyman. That's pretty good, huh? Hi. Guess we'll see you around, fella. If I'm going to get you to your plane in time, let me just say goodbye to Odie. I know you'll miss them. But think of all the great fun you and I are going to have together. <laughs> Thanks for all your help, Angie. I wouldn't have missed it for anything, John. You're a good man. <clears throat> huh? Meow. And cat. Mm. Oh. Stay in touch. Please, don't look so unhappy, Garfield. The two of you are going home. Yeah, that's the problem. It's the two of us. I'm going to go upstairs and unpack. Hey, Garfield, how'd it go? Did you find Lyman? Is he all right? Yes, we found Lyman. Yes, he's all right. Oh, that's great. So, so why are you so glum? You look like you lost your best friend. Hey, where's Odie? Odie? I don't know any Odie. I'll fall when the days are short. Wow. Garfield, dinner's ready. It is not time to stay alone and despair. Gather with ones you love and care. Care. 
and share Don't despair Your parents and your friends Anyone dear Care and share It's time now To make peace and forgive Care and share Care and share Boy, you must really miss him. Well, I do too, but we have to get over it. This is probably the mailman with all the mail I had them hold while we were gone. Lyman! John, great to see you. You haven't changed a bit, I'm sorry to say. Neither of you. And I'm even sorry than ever about that. What are you doing? You left something important in Afghanistan, and I thought I'd retain it in person. Here. Hody! Oh, it's good to have you back. <laughs> Is that? Uh, no. I thought I heard. Ah, uh, never mind. What? Huh? I just have to face reality, Odie. You're gone for good, and I'll never see you again. Is this another fantasy sequence? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I looked at Odie's face, heard him sign, and I thought. He doesn't belong with oh. me. Sure, I used to own him, but now you own him. Garfield has no appetite. Garfield? Not eating. Oh, that's serious. Well, it looks like I've saved two more animals. Speaking of which, I have to get back to Franistan. You can't stay? Wish I could. Tell you what. One of these days, I'll hire a temporary Zabadoo to fill in for me so I can come back for a real visit. I'd like that. I'd like that a lot. So, Garfield and Odie are back together oh. again. You think it's just like it used to be? <laughs> there you go, boy. Go fetch a stick. Oh, oh, that's great, Odie. Here it goes again, boy. Fetch the stick. Fetch the stick. <laughs> no, tomorrow it'll be just like it used to be. Right now, it's even better. Okay, here it comes a big one now. Go fetch the stick. Go, boy. <laughs> another show to be on. I don't need you. I don't need any of you. Well, that's it for me. I'll tell you what, the benefit is thanks. I don't care. You think I care? Well, I don't care. See? <laughs> but you'll all be in big trouble because I'm going to report you all to Jim Davis. <laughs> the nerve of those people. Could we have some dialogue from time to time, please? Don't they know whose show this is? Whose name is in the title? Does it say the Eddie Gourmand show at the beginning? I don't think so. Ooh. Hello? Anybody here? Stage manager? Director? Writers? Hello? Everybody's deserting me today. There isn't even any background music. Oh. Well, at least they left me a script for this week. The Big Discovery. Eh, already I don't like it. Note to self, remember to fire the writers. Okay, let's see here. Fade in exterior Arbuckle House day. John doing something. New character. Eh, I'm sick of new characters. When do I get to be on my show? Oh, here I am. We find Garfield curled up in bed, sound asleep. <laughs> First good idea they've had. <sighs> Maybe a short dream sequence will help. I don't need... Oh, I could do the show all by myself. I could play all the parts. I could do the I don't need those guys. I don't need anyone. Oh, 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 no, I will not fetch the stick. Can you believe we paid someone to write that? 
Bark, 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 bark. There is absolutely nothing in this world that could get me out of bed today. Oh, Garfield. I'm going out for a while. My niece is Drusilla and Minerva are coming by for a visit. Arf, arf. Nothing in this world, not even John's nieces. <laughs> John's nieces! <laughs> I gotta get out of here. Uncle John! Uncle John! I don't think he's here, Minerva. I keep telling you. I'm Drusilla, you're Minerva. Oh, right. And we're here to play with the... Kitty cat! We're gonna play with the kitty cat! We're gonna play with the kitty cat! Please stay away from the kitty cat! Please stay away from the kitty cat! Kitty cat! Kitty cat! Don't feel me Kitty cat! Ah, those won't keep them out. I need something large to barricade the door. Bed? This refrigerator? Elephant! I can't eat You don't understand, Agnes. This cat does terrible things to me. Well, for instance, he just dropped a bed on me. Ah! And a refrigerator. Ah! And of course, an elephant. I, I, do me a favor. There are two little girls chasing me. Distract them while I get away. Will you do that for me? Ah! Elephant! Ah! Let's style his trunk. We need to moisturize him. Agnes, I'm coming home. This episode's starting to get a little bit silly. I think I did it. I think I got away from him. I must have. I'm not in ladies' clothing. I'm safe. Hi, Garfield. I'm not safe. Normal. That's right. It's me, Normal. The cutest kitten on this or any other planet. I think I dropped the elephant on the wrong person. Sorry! Do you have a reason for being here, Normal? Or did you just come by to tell me how cute you are? I just came by to tell you how cute I am. Okay, at least he's being honest. Excuse me, but I'm a very important, powerful agent from Hollywood. I just saw you standing here, and I couldn't help but notice how incredibly handsome and adorable you are. Naturally. No, not you. I meant the other one. I've never seen a handsomer face than that. You're beautiful. Nah, <laughs> you're beautiful. No, you're beautiful. No, no, I'm beautiful. Take a look at this. No, I don't think so. Would you mind if I made you a fabulously rich and famous TV star? Well, as long as I'm home in time for dinner. Not a problem. We need a truly beautiful animal for a new commercial. We'll be doing a screen test, and if you're the one, you'll be fabulously rich and famous. It's not fair! It's not fair, I tell you! <laughs> Put me on TV! Put this face on TV! I have to get that screen test for myself and beat Garfield out to become fabulously rich and famous! Okay, so uh, what do I do? Well, just do what you do huh? best. Fine. Eating or sleeping? I have to go scout more talent, but the director will take care of you. And remember, you're beautiful, baby. Nah, you're beautiful. No, you're beautiful. Okay, have it your way. I'm beautiful. Um, what do I do now? Mr. Director! Here I am, Garfield. Now, we'd just like to see you do a little dance for us. Oh, sure. Um... How's this? Fine, fine. Now, uh, turn around. <laughs> oh, if he gets his job, I won't be able to stand it. I have to do something. Very good, Herbal. Now, uh, <laughs> for the next part of your screen test. <laughs> He's done. Now it's time for my screen test. Put the camera on me. Let it show how awesome I am. 
Nermo, this is my screen test. I uh, think we have what we need on you, Garfield. We'll test this cat now. Okay. <laughs> What's your name? Nermal cat. Starve tomorrow. Uh, give me a second, Nermo. I'll be right back. My awesomeness, and I will be waiting, Mr. Director Person. <laughs> All right, Nermal. I want you to do everything I say. Okay, ready. Lift up your left foot. Lift up your right foot. Fall down and go boom. No. Get up. Stand on your head. Stand on your feet. Quack like a duck. Oh, quack, quack. Eat a pint of yogurt. Boogie till you drop. Do a push up. One. <laughs> Collapse from exhaustion. <laughs> That's great, great normal. <laughs> you tricked me, Garfield. Well, I don't care. I'm gonna get this job. No, you're not. I'm gonna be fabulously rich and famous, and I'm gonna get this job. <laughs> I'm a lot more adorable than you are, and more talented, and I'm cuter in every way, and everyone says so. You're not as awesome as you think you are, Nermal, and I'm gonna mail you to Abu Dhabi again, you annoying cat. Hey, guys, guys, you gotta stop arguing. Which, Which one, one of you gets the job? job? Neither what? one of you. I found an animal more adorable than both of you put together. Show them what you can do, Jumbo. I'm gonna make that elephant fabulously rich and famous. So, what do you think? I think huh? we need to learn that. Right. And a one, and a two. Whoa, what a dream sequence. And I really like the cast. That's the answer. I really don't need anybody else. I'll play all the roles from now on. Maybe I can even play the elephant's part. First, I'll play myself. That's not much of a stretch. Snore, snore, snore. Then I'll play Odie. And then, John. I'll play John. Garfield, I want you to behave yourself. This is how I behave. If you don't behave, no lasagna for you. You can't mean it. I do mean it. And I can play Vito, too. Ah, Senor Arbuckle, I have a nice hot pizza for your pussy gato. Oh, smells great. What's on it? <laughs> it's just what you asked for. A Vito special with the anchovies. Anchovies? I didn't want anchovies. You asked for the anchovies. No, I did not. Yes, you did. No, I did not. Yes, you did. Didn't, did, didn't. Did, didn't, did, didn't, did, didn't, did. I can't do this. I can't do this all by myself. Too many Noahs and yeses and stuff. I need others on my show. I need Odie. Yes, I need you, Odie. Yes, and I need you, John. We all decided to come back, Garfield. And I need you. And I need you. And I need you. No, not you. <laughs> but I really need you without the anchovies. <gasps> ah, no anchovies. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Listen, everyone, I, I've learned my lesson. I'll give you all lines on the show. I'll share the spotlight. I'll even see about paying some of you. Can you ever forgive me? Oh, 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 Thank you so much. Hey, Garfield, how about sharing that pizza with us? I'd Maybe like to be yeah. that Are you out of your minds? Sorry, Odie. I don't have time to play right now. I'm making dinner tonight for Liz. It's her birthday. 
I have to make it real special. She's always complaining we never do anything interesting or special on her birthday. I prepared a dish of carrot and celery sticks. Ah, it was right here on the counter and now it's not here. Aha! What? Celery stick? <laughs> Garfield! You could have a carrot stick if you prefer. <laughs> I'm trying to make a nice dinner for Liz's birthday! I have such interesting people living near me, Winona. That house over there, well, it belongs to a man named John Arbuckle, or as his neighbors call him, the guy with a cat. <gasps> what does he do? <laughs> and the sweet potato pie is supposed to be for six people, not one cat! Ooh, well, he does a lot of that. Oh, hi, Mrs. Cauldron. Have you seen Garfield? Please don't tell him where I am. Please don't tell him where I am. Oh, I am. Uh, no, I haven't. Yay, Mrs. Cauldron. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Arbuckle, I want you to meet my niece Winona. She's staying with me for the summer. Nice to meet you, Winona. <laughs> Such a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Arbuckle. Oh, call me John. I'm sorry I can't stay and chat. I'm making dinner. Oh, well, we understand. Goodbye, Mr. Ar... I mean, John. <laughs> I don't blame you, Garfield. I like sweet potato pie myself. <laughs> oh, come on, Winona. Oh, that's Mrs. Cauldron. You remember her from last season? She was that lady I thought might be a witch. Why? I don't know. There's something about her voice. It reminds me of every witch I've ever seen in a cartoon. No. When you make your potions, heat them over a fire. Don't try microwaving them. It doesn't work. Oh, these kids today. Winona, are you paying attention? Huh? Oh, uh, sorry. I was just thinking about Mr. Arbuckle. Oh, you liked him, eh? Oh, I more than liked him, Auntie. He's the man I'm going to marry. Right. Yes, he's going to be my husband. Nevermore! At least pay attention. You'll never be a full-fledged witch unless you learn your enchantments. I'm going to take a little beauty nap. Now you study your potions while I sleep. I will, Auntie. May I look into the brazier of all-seeing wisdom? Oh, sure. <laughs> it's a lot cheaper than cable TV. Just... Don't touch my book of spells or my broom. I want to see my beloved, John Arbuckle. I made your favorite, Liz, because I know you love it. Oh, John, you're always so wonderful to me. Ah. Oh, nothing's too good for my favorite lady. She can't have him. He's mine. And he's going to be mine. Nevermore. I will go and sweep him off to the Tower of Witchery and marry him this night. Nevermore! You stupid raven! Don't you ever say anything besides nevermore? Nevermore! I'm not supposed to borrow Annie's broom and book of spells, but this is an emergency! <laughs> I have to learn how to do that laugh. Come on, guys. Let's bring in the birthday cake. Who are you? I'm the future Mrs. John Arbuckle. What? I I don't, I, I don't, I can't. Okay, you think he'll marry you, but he won't. You know why? Because you're a mouse. A mouse? Yeah, hold on. Okay, Moose Molehill Mountain. Oh, mouse, mouse. Okay, here it is. Mouse. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Happy birthday, Liz. Make a wish. Well, where's Liz? And who are you? Don't you remember me, John? Winona. Uh, Liz isn't here. And anyway, she's a mouse now. So <gasps> I'll make a wish. Well, see? I get my wish. And my wish is that you'll marry me. Go for it. Could be your only chance. Now wait a minute, lady. I'm taking you to the Tower of Witchery for the ceremony. And since you're too big to fit on my broom with me... <laughs> John! <laughs> 
Now, as for you two. Run This can't be happening. A mouse! What are you, a zebra? I'm not a mouse. At least, I wasn't five minutes ago. Well, this is gonna take some explaining. Let me go! Don't fight it, John. It was meant to be. And now, it's off to the Tower of Witchery. So we can be well. <laughs> of course I have a brilliant plan to rescue John. I just don't know what it is yet. Try talking to this lady. Garfield? Can you talk? To other animals, which I'm afraid includes you now, Liz. How are we going to defeat an all-powerful witch? She may not be all-powerful. She said she's learning. Um, she borrowed her aunt's broom and book of spells. And I'll bet her aunt doesn't know anything about it. Come on! You have to talk to her, Liz. What am I going to say? Well, just tell her that her niece stole her stuff and ask her if she really wants a cartoonist in the family. I told her not to touch my book of spells and my broom as well. We have to stop her from marrying John. I'll say I don't want a cartoonist in my family. Never more. That bad niece of mine took my broom, so I'll have to use my vacuum cleaner. Who's coming with me? Me. I'm going. I... I think I'll walk home. I get air sick, especially flying on household appliances. <laughs> We'd better hurry. They marry people fast at the Tower of Witchery. <laughs> Good luck. You'll need it. So that's all you do all day? Sit around and say never more? It's all I could get. I have trouble learning my lines. I would be proud to conduct a wedding ceremony, Winona. But whom do you wish to marry? Yum. Oh, very cute and practical. Your groom is just the right size to fit atop the wedding cake. <laughs> oh, may I say one word? Is it a good word? It's an excellent word, and it's very appropriate. Very well, then. Say your word. Help! Here it is! That's the Tower of Witchery! But I just realized we may have a tiny problem. What is it? This vacuum cleaner has a thousand mile power cord, and the Tower of Witchery is 1,000 miles and six inches from my home. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> what are we gonna do? If anyone objects to this man and this witch being joined in the magic of matrimony, let this person speak now. Would it do any good for me to object? No. Now then. Stop this ceremony! <laughs> We're here to save this man from marrying that witch he doesn't want him marry. <laughs> we seem to have intruders. Ladies, what is he going to be? Insect statues or frogs? <laughs> Very well. The frogs have it. Oh, don't complain. I could have changed you into a moose and squirrel. Okay, so we're frogs. At least Dodie has the tongue for it. Uh, hello. Could we just get on with my marriage, please? Indeed. If anyone objects... I object! I object to this ceremony. My niece is not yet a full-fledged witch. Not? But she has broom and book of spells. Um, oh, I stole them from my aunt. <gasps> Never! She cannot be wed here if she's not a full-fledged witch. Drop a house on her! Quiet! We don't do that anymore. I'm really sorry, aunt. 
know what came over me. I just thought he was so cute. Well, we'll talk about that, dear. Plus, I want to get your eyes checked. Uh, excuse me, could you do something about, you know, this? Yeah, and could you uh, possibly uh, turn us back into ourselves? Oh, I can do better than that. I can put everything back the way it was and wipe your memories so you'll have no recollection of any of this. Sim Make a wish list and blow out the candles. Here goes. Odie, do you have the feeling that something just, I mean, kind of... Eh, uh, never mind. So, what did you wish for? I wish that just once something really interesting would happen on my birthday. Be careful what you wish for, Liz. Hey, <laughs> we weren't all there to have our memories wiped out. Noses, two pinches of tarantula hair, a spoonful of moldy peanut butter. Oh, oh, oh <laughs> hello. I'm Mrs. Cauldron, your friendly neighborhood old lady, who might be a witch. Never more! Quiet! I have a story to tell. So, here it is, and I'm not saying it's true. But I'm not saying it isn't either. <laughs> it happened one day as I was flying home on my brand new Class 13 vacuum cleaner with full options, including parking sensors. <laughs> oh, this would be great. <laughs> This is the bungee cord John used the one time he went bungee jumping. Not a successful activity. Bodie, wake up. You want to fetch the stick? Then go fetch the stick. I like Garfield, but there are times when he just goes too far. <laughs> Hello, Odie. Now, you know why Garfield can do things like that to you, don't you? Because you're not that smart, and if you were that smart, you'd know that's the reason. <laughs> Would you like to be smarter? A lot smarter? Okay, I'm not sure you'll like it, but here goes. <laughs> Odie always had a good heart, but suddenly he had a good brain to go with it. <laughs> oh, that was great. Huh. I wonder why the bungee cord causes someone to bounce around like that. Actually, it's all due to Newton's third law of motion. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Oh, interesting. Thanks, Odie. Don't mention it. <sighs> Newton's third law of motion. I should have known. Odie, you said something. Not only that, but it was something, you know, like... Intelligent. Ah, well, maybe I just never had anything to say before. Oh. It was also a new experience for Odie, being able to do things he'd never done before. There you go. I changed the filter, tightened all the belts, and updated the software on your global positioning system. Well, thank you, Odie. I do hope you enjoy being intelligent. Of course. I can read and write and solve problems and fix things. Well, I just hope you keep feeling that way. Uh, one last thing, Odie. 
You can't tell anyone that I magically turned you into a genius or it will undo the spell. You'll immediately become like you were before. I'm smart now. I'm not dumb enough to let that happen. Good. See you around. Thanks again. Uh, for a while at least. I guess it was a good thing. Oh, I don't have time to play, Odie. I have to get my taxes done and it's just impossible. Oh, I need some coffee. I'm going to be up all night. Let's see, a form 2030 itemized deduction. What's he talking about? This is a breeze. He never said anything before. I've kicked him off the table 7,000 times. He never said a word except you. <laughs> I'm going to be up all night doing my taxes, Garfield. <gasps> Bodie, what are you doing in my chair? <sighs> you did my taxes? Yes, and I got you a refund. He looks perfectly normal to me, John, um, except that he's suddenly become a genius. Huh? I gave him an intelligence Ooh. test, and, well, let's just say he's twice as smart as we are. Twice as smart as either of us? No, twice as smart as you and I put together. If you'll excuse me, I have a sick pussycat that needs attention. What? <gasps> it appears you've been eating too much mixed grill. Try switching to a low-sodium salmon mm. cap food. John couldn't believe how smart his dog was. He shot videos of Odie and put them on the internet. Ooh. Before long, Odie was famous. The smartest dog in the world. That's what they're calling him since his online videos have had 50 million hits. My Odie? On Monday, he became the world champion of chess. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I can't believe it. I just got checkmate by a dog. <laughs> On Tuesday, he went on a game show. Cody, for a small fortune, when they built the Great Wall of China, who was the foreman? You've written Chin Lu Hao. That is correct. That's absolutely correct. You win the small fortune. Odie promptly donated the entire small fortune to a worthy charity. I thought he was supposed to be smart. And perhaps most impressive, he figured out how to set up one of those beach chairs no one can ever figure out. for 22 years to understand how to open that chair. In just a few short days, everyone around the world has become excited about Odie. This is your gossip reporter, Brandon Scoop, signing off. <sighs> You're just jealous because Odie's getting all this fame and attention. Oh, great. Now I have a smart mouse, too. And someone inside the world wasn't too happy, either. He was Emperor Glorm, ruler of the kingdom at the center of the earth. I've been trying for 22 years to understand Emperor how to open Glorm, that chair. Emperor Glorm, do you think that dog is really as smart as they say? Hmm. Smarter! And that worries me, my loyal sloth people. That canine is smart enough to lead the surface people to conquer us! <laughs> Of course, if we captured him, he could tell us how to conquer the surface people. I'm sorry, my dog can't help you. Everybody He's busy. wants Odie to solve their problems. Odie, do you think you can solve mine? I'll try. What is it? I have a lousy part in this episode. <laughs> I think I can solve your problem and my own by getting out of this house. Where are you gonna go? I don't know. Huh? So, Odie made a hasty exit, leaving Garfield to deal with the mobs of people outside. I know how to handle this. Please, people, I'm telling you, my dog can't solve all your problems. No, but your cat can. Yes, it's me, Garfield Cat. I'm here to share my colossal brain with you all. Ask me anything. I want to talk to the dog. I want to talk to the dog. Yeah, I'm going to bed until this episode is over. Meanwhile, Odie was trying to figure out the one thing he didn't know. Why being so smart was more trouble than being stupid. Hey, Odie, 
Can you tell me how to run my comic book shop so I can make more money? Hey, Audi! Can you tell me a good way I can catch a dog? Like, say, you? Hey, Audi! Will you do my homework for me? Everywhere he went, somebody wanted something. But finally, he was alone. <sighs> or so he thought. Hey, let me go! Unhand me! So... This is the smartest dog in the world. <clears throat> well, smart dog, I trust you are smart enough to know that your survival depends on you helping me to conquer the surface world. Why me? What do you want with me? You have knowledge. Knowledge is power. And I want power. Tell me, dog, how did you get to be so smart? Odie tried to think, but all he could think about was how life was so much easier before he got to be so smart. And then he remembered something he'd heard. You can't tell anyone that I magically turned you into a genius or it will undo the spell. You'll immediately become like you were before. I said, how did you get to be so smart? Well, a little old witch named Mrs. Cauldron cast a spell on me. This? This is the smartest creature on this planet? Use the cerebral gauge. Measure his brain power. No discernible intelligence. We might as well return to our world below. That's really all there is to the story, I guess. Hey, Odie, can you answer a question for me? He went home dumb but happy. And he stayed that way. <laughs> so, here it is. And I'm not saying it's true, but I'm not saying it isn't either. <laughs> and best of all, I got my show back. Sure, boy. Warned you, Odie. Garfield's in a bad mood today. Well, worse than usual. Oh, for one thing, it's Monday. As you know, there's nothing that scares Garfield more than a Monday. Please don't let today be Monday. Please don't let today be Monday. Please, please, please. Please don't let today be Monday. And then what followed was bad even by Monday standards. He had something planned. Some new way to torment the mailman. He'd been looking forward to it all morning. But then, when the mailman arrived, Herman the mailman had come up with a method of Garfield-proof mail delivery. You won't? 
Get me this time, cat. The mail got delivered and there was nothing he could do. <laughs> then, things got worse. He went to Vito's for pizza. No, no more pizzas for you. Not until I am paid for the last 7,432 you have eaten here. And when he got back, he got maybe the worst news of all. Normal had come for a visit. A long visit. And now, here comes the worst part. I have to tell him he's gaining weight, and I'm putting him on a diet. I know. If you think those other things upset him, wait till you see his reaction to this news. But it has to be done, so I know you won't like it, but I'm putting you on a strict diet, and that's final. Please don't hurt me. <laughs> oh. <sighs> I don't know what he's doing. He brought some junk from the city dump or somewhere, and he's been in the garage for an hour building something. He just... Oh, wait. Oh. He's built some sort of invention or something. I have no idea what it does. And I'm worried. Garfield has some sort of machine there. I wonder what it does. Well, whatever it is, it can't be good for me. Oh, you pussycatto. What is that machine he has there? What could it possibly do? I have a very bad feeling about this. Uh-oh. What is that thing? Why am I not gonna like what it does? Hmm. That machine of his, it's gotta have something to do with my new tank. Some way of tormenting me in spite of it. I can only imagine what he's gonna do next time I show up in that tank. <laughs> no, no! The most powerful electromagnet in the world! I've got to get out of here! Machine of his. If it can do that, it's the most fiendish contraption he's ever devised. I have to stop him before he uses it on me. Vito, where's that pizza we ordered? Uh, coming right up, Senor. <sighs> what could that machine possibly do? I have learned to never underestimate that pussy gatto. Maybe, maybe it would make uh, the pizza and the, not just any pizza, but pizza up to the Garfield standards. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Hello. Uh. What kind of pizza would you like to make today? Thin crust or thick? What do I want to do today? Let's see. You have selected thin crust. Would you like small, medium, or large? <laughs> you have selected extra, extra, super jumbo <laughs> large. Would you like extra cheese? Yes. Extra sauce? Yes. Pepperoni? Yes. Sausage. Yes. Anchovies. No. Meatballs. Yes. A side of pasta. Yes. A side of cheeseburgers. Yes. Some Chinese food. Yes. Thank you. Your pizza will be ready <laughs> in 15 seconds. <laughs> no. That takes too long. Mm. Oh man, I gotta speed this thing up. <laughs> Cooking pizza at 
Your pizza is done. <laughs> the greatest scientific breakthrough of this or any other century. <laughs> I... I am unnecessary. And I'm coming to you live from the hottest new pizzeria in town. It's called Garfield's. People have been coming from around the world for Garfield's pizza. Some, it is said, have been waiting in line since early August. <laughs> and two words. Delicious! This is the best pizza ever made anywhere. No, it's ever Oh, oh, please, uh, you come in. You have a slice. <laughs> I'm ruined. I haven't sold the pizza since Garfield went into business. Now, I am out of a business. Out of my way. I've got to get to Garfield. No, stop. Hold on to the pizza. Please, no. It was just my imagination. But it could happen. I must make certain it does not happen. Oh, I'm really worried, Odie. You've got to tell me what Garfield's machine does. Oh. But then, <laughs> what can he do to me? Mail me to Abu Dhabi? He's already done that to me 73 times. Oh, oh right, 74. But what if he doesn't send me to Abu Dhabi? What if he sends me to someplace worse than that? Don't do this, Garfield. Whatever it is you're going to do, don't do it. Will you please calm down? You like Alpha Centauri. Alpha Centauri? You're gonna put me in a rocket? Well, how else am I gonna get you there? Oh no, 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 no! I'm the cutest kitten in this world, and I wanna stay in this world. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't wanna have to do this the hard way, but he's forced me. Here we go. <laughs> Seven. <sighs> I can't wait that long. Blaster! I can't explain now, Odie. I have to stop Garfield from sending me in outer space. <sighs> I'm leaving, Garfield. I'm huh? leaving. Ooh, I like the sound of that. I'm not staying for months. I'm gonna go home. Bye-bye. Uh, wow, he left fast. I got rid of the tank, Garfield. Huh? You don't have to use this machine on me. You don't even have to fling me into the mud hole. Look, I'll do it for you. <laughs> See? La <laughs> la How I love to wind up in a good mud hole. <laughs> huh? Do Whoa. Garfield! <laughs> Vito is so sorry he kicked you out of his restaurant this morning. Here, have pizzas. Lots and lots of pizzas. <laughs> Just uh, don't start making them yourself, okay, <laughs> please? Garfield! I was worried about what your machine here do uh, I mean, I was worried about your health, and I was thinking maybe you don't need to diet. <laughs> and I see you've already come to the same conclusion. <gasps> okay, pay no attention to what I said. I never do. <laughs> huh? What's that, boy? You want to know what my machine really does? This machine does the same thing I'm going to do for the rest of the day. Absolutely nothing. Hmm, you know, I could even get to like Mondays.
<laughs> go on a vacation. Gloria doesn't understand how much work it is to run a farm. Neither do I. What's so hard? Your farmhands plow the fields. All you have to do is feed the animals. Do you know what it's like to feed all those hungry mouths? Doc Boy, I feed Garfield and Odie. Well, you got a point yeah. there. And don't call me Doc Boy. Say, where is Garfield? Come on, come on. Drive me back to civilization. Garfield doesn't like it here on the farm. Anyway, I still say feeding animals is easy. And I still say you don't know what you're talking about. And I still say, let's go home! He works much harder than you think, John, and I still think he needs to take a vacation. Well, one of these days, I'd better get Garfield home before... Here's your question, Garfield! Yoo-hoo! Your emergency order! Pizza! All right, all right. We'll go home. Wait. Huh? I have some fighter pilots airlifting pastrami sandwiches. Come back Bye. soon. See you later. So long now. Now about that vacation. Oh. But who'd take care of the cows and the horse and the chickens and... You can find someone. You're right. I can, and I know who. Visiting my brother yesterday was fun. No cable TV. Oh, that farm of his is so cool. Roosters are crow at 5 a.m. And the air smells so great. If you like the smell of cow. Huh? Oh, I wonder who this is. <laughs> Doc Boy, Gloria. Hello, John. And don't call him Doc Boy. Doc Boy and Gloria. See, even they couldn't stand it out on that farm. So I finally persuaded him to take a vacation. And I don't even know where we're going or when we'll be back. Hey, why don't we visit that relative of yours you told me about? Huh. Which one? Her name was Aunt something? Forget I mentioned her. Don't worry, folks. She's not in this episode. It's safe to watch. So, who's going to take care of all your animals while you're away? Someone who said he thought it would be easy. Me? Oh, no. I don't have time to go up to your farmyard. Who said anything about taking care of them in my farmyard? <laughs> I don't like the nearness of that move. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> Couldn't have put it any better myself. Doc Boy? Doc Boy? <laughs> We left plenty of food and audio instructions on how to feed them. We'll see you when we get back from our vacation. <laughs> Whenever that is. <laughs> and don't call me Doc Boy. In a situation like this, there's only one thing to do. You with me, Odie? a hotel until the animals are gone. Hmm. Oh no, you're not running out on this. You're going to stay and help me take care of those animals until Dog Boy and Gloria get back, whenever that is. We'll just keep the animals in the backyard. It won't be so bad, unless of course it starts to rain. Oh. <sighs> you had to say that, didn't you? Come on, let's get them inside. Part is, this is the cleanest this house has been in months. I don't think they left us nearly enough food. I'm going to run out and get some more before the store closes. Here, my brother left the CD called How to Feed Farm Animals. Play it and do as it says while I'm gone. If you don't feed them, I don't feed you. Good. I'll be back as soon as I can. All right, let's see what this thing says. Hello. Welcome to How to Feed Farm Animals. Lesson one, chickens. Uh, Spread chicken feed evenly <laughs> on ground. All right, I'll try that. Supper time. Get your delicious chicken feed right here. Come on, what are you waiting for? 
Would you eat that? Probably. There's not a lot I won't eat. <laughs> Try it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Woo. We gotta get you something better than that. Yeah. Why do you have to do that? Because I just love to go It's in my soul. It's in my heart. Yeah, but it's also in my ears. I can't help myself. I have to go. Well, then I'll help you. Step right in here. Okay, let's see what's next. Feeding goats. Many people think goats eat tin can. This is not true. They merely like to lick the glue that is often used to put a label on a tin can. Oh, that's so good to know, Mr. Voice. Here, I know you don't really eat tin cans, but... What was in that when it was full? Spaghetti, I think. Oh, great. You get the spaghetti, I get the empty can. Well, now, wait a minute. Hey, you dropped something on the ground behind you. Huh? I don't see anything. <laughs> We've got to get you some better food, too. Feeding horses. Horses eat hay. Odie. Bring the hay in here. <laughs> hey, it's your hay. I'm not eating that. You know what hay tastes like. It's dry. It's tasteless. It's, it's... Like John's meatloaf? Well, probably not that bad. Wait here. <laughs> here, there's no food on earth that can't be made edible with enough ketchup. Bon appetit. Whoa. <laughs> My mistake. This isn't ketchup. It's ultra powerful hot sauce. <laughs> 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 Sorry about that, but I'll make it up to you. I'm going to give you guys some real food. Let's see, yesterday's macaroni, leftover Chinese food. That's for sure. The way you get food. <laughs> 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 so much better than tin cans. Yeah, this is so much better than what Dog Boy features on the farm. We're never gonna leave this house. <laughs> oh no, we can't keep them here, Odie. It's time to take drastic steps. More drastic than that. More drastic than that. Even more drastic than that. <laughs> Oh, if there are any small children watching, they should look away from the screen. This could be really scary. I know I said Ann Ivy wasn't in this episode. I lied. John! John! I got your email inviting me to stay with you until Christmas after next. This is it. This place looks like a barnyard. Even worse, it smells like a barnyard. Look at the feathers on that chicken. Look at the giblets on that turkey. Get that cow out of here. I'm lactose intolerant. Get that sheep out of here. I don't like wool. Tell that rooster if he doesn't shut up, he won't like what I'll cock a doodle do to him. But it's supposed to be our vacation. And it will be. But I'm worried about how my brother will take care of the animals. I just want to check and make sure they're okay. Oh, my animals! They're all running away! Come back, come back. I'll take you all back to the farm. <laughs> problem solved. Oh, you're wondering about the bigger problem. The Aunt Ivy problem. I'm not staying uh, in this house worry. another minute. It smells like a barnyard and all the fur and feathers are... <laughs> 
Chicken of my allergies. I'm gonna stay in the most expensive hotel in town and charge it to John. Other problem solved. Now I have just one more thing to do. Remember the CD? Mm -hmm. I have to go online and find the guy who makes them. I have an idea. I don't know how you did it, Garfield. Doc Boy called and said he and all his animals are home safe on their farm and he'll find a sitter for them before he takes a vacation. Good. Okay, here. Listen to this. The CD player? Something on here you want me to listen to? <laughs> Hello. Welcome to How to Feed Garfield Cat. Lesson mm -hmm. one, breakfast. <gasps> Garfield enjoys a modest breakfast, including waffles with syrup, fresh berries, hot coffee with sugar, cream, and more sugar, buttermilk pancakes, chocolate patty sausage drinks, eggs fried, eggs scrambled, eggs poached on top of other eggs, lasagna, whole cereal, hot cereal, butter toast, bacon, more bacon, lots more bacon. You gotta admit. <laughs> Neither do I. <laughs> uh, they should just give me a trophy for winning the most trophies. Hey, that's an idea. I could win a lot of trophies for winning the most trophies. Oh, oh, and then I could win a trophy for winning the most trophies for winning the most trophies. Or not. I can't stand cats. Especially ones who think they're cute. Yeah, and adorable. But I am cute and adorable. Just take a look. <laughs> we take care of cats who are cute and adorable. <gasps> Did I say cute and adorable? <laughs> no, 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 no. I meant uh, uh, mangy and ugly. Yuck. Um, disgusting. <laughs> ah! Congratulations. You just won this lovely trophy for best performance by a scary dog in a lead role. Bye. Um, guys, let's get that cat. Oh, no. Help! Help! Oh, double help! This is a bad part of town, Odie. We shouldn't be down here. Yeah, this area is full of folks you don't want to be around. See? There's normal. Help! Normal's being chased by angry dogs. If they catch up with him, he's a goner! Oh, well. Oh. Hmm. You think I should help Nermal? Hmm. Oh, all right. Come on, we can take a shortcut and catch up to him. And this was not a smart way for me to run. You, you know, guys, I'm not really as adorable as I might appear. Oh, this is it. I'm toast. Cute toast, but toast just the same. Hey, Nermal. Garfield! Wow. Look at what we have here. <laughs> yeah, another cat we don't like. Looks like we got us a two-for-one deal here. <laughs> you may think you're going... <laughs> What's he doing? Beats me. Sorry, I've become infested with <laughs> Mongolian monster fleas. <laughs> They're very contagious. Quick, do what I'm doing. Uh, I don't want to get no, uh, uh, what did he say they were? Uh, Mongolian monster fleas. Hey, let's get away from them. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I think we ought to be someplace else before they come back. Garfield, you saved my life. 
Yeah, don't remind me. A word of advice, Nermo? Stay away from places you might get hurt, like this neighborhood or my house. Let's go, Odie. Garfield saved my life. He really did. <laughs> Maybe I had him all wrong. I thought Garfield didn't like me. Why did I think that? Oh, maybe it was because all those times he said, Normal, I don't like you. Today on the show, we're going to discuss gratitude. <laughs> gratitude. I've heard of that. When someone does something nice for you, you should display gratitude. Thank them. Let them know that you owe them. And if someone did you a favor, do a favor for them. That's the decent thing to do in this world. Do a favor for Garfield? <laughs> well, he's right. I should do a favor for Garfield. I should do lots of favors for Garfield. He saved my life. Thanks, but I don't need you to do anything for me. <laughs> but there must be something I could do that would please you. Yeah? Go away. As you wish. Oh, I never thought getting rid of Nermal could be so easy. And it saves on postage. I'll celebrate with a couple of desserts. I'll tidy up for my friend Garfield. Let's see. Do I want vanilla, chocolate, strawberry, or pistachio? Yes. All of the above. <laughs> What's going on here? Normal. The vacuum cleaner's too loud. What's that? Can't hear Garfield. The vacuum cleaner's too loud. <laughs> <laughs> My vanilla, my chocolate, my strawberry, my pistachio! Nermal, turn that thing off! Hold on, Garfield, I'll turn this thing off! Nermal, you turned it up to super suction! I'll try to turn it off! Help! Help! Garfield, Liz is coming over and we need to clean up the living room. <sighs> Think we overdid it? Garfield, how could you do this? But I didn't do it. Normal did. He was trying to tidy up around here. <laughs> and and I... don't try to blame this disaster on cute little Normal. <laughs> And don't come back ever! Oh, wait for your best friend! Or at least until dinner time! Huh, what am I gonna do with this room? Uh, maybe Odie can help me. Odie! Odie! Here, boy! Hmm? Oh. I don't care what you say, Garfield. I'm gonna help you out. After all, you did save my life. I keep asking you not to remind me, Nerval. Oh? Hey, hey, hey! <gasps> Look who's coming this way! <gasps> She's utterly awesome. Want to meet her, Garfield? Well, I'm pretty happy with Arlene. Nothing's wrong with meeting people. She's real good looking. Not as good looking as me, but... Excuse me, lovely <laughs> lady cat. Do you know my friend uh, Garfield? Yeah. This is Garfield? Ooh, I've heard of Garfield. Yeah, he's a hero. He saved my life. He keeps reminding me. Plus, he's my best friend. Hmm. Well, any friend huh? of yours is a friend of mine. Garfield, would you like to share a lasagna some evening? Oh, well, maybe just a little one, the size of a small car. Huh? Huh? Arlene, it's not what you think. She found my weakness. She mentioned lasagna. Arlene! Arlene! Ah, let her go. So, maybe you lost your lady friend. Look at the bright side. You'll oh. always have me around. Odie, I think I figured out how to stop Nermal from being my friend. I saved his life, so I just have to get him to save my life. Then we'll be even. Brilliant, huh? Well, I don't care if you don't think it's brilliant. I think it's brilliant. So here's what I need you to do. Now, I'll take my dear friend Garfield a big dish of raisins. Oh, and then maybe I'll get him a pizza with lots and lots of anchovies on it. Oh. <laughs> oh. Odie, what's wrong? Nothing's happened to my best friend forever. Garfield has it. 
<gasps> what do you mean, not yet? <laughs> Garfield's going for a walk in that bad neighborhood where I ran into those tough bully dogs? He'll get flattened. I have to go help him. Don't worry, my friend. I'll protect you. <laughs> he saved my life. Now I'll save his. But the thing to remember in life is to put yourself first. Because if you don't, nobody else will. What? Yes, it's important to take care of others, but it's also important to take care of yourself. You matter too, you know. He's right. I'm normal cat. Why am I worrying about someone else? Oh, look at the poor cat. Defenseless kitty, walking all by himself. I hope nobody bothers him. Hey, I'm not worried. Normal will show up and save me, and we'll be even. And even if he can't save me, I'm still not worried. I have my Mongolian monster flea routine to protect me. Ahem. <clears throat> Cat walking alone. Defenseless. With a bad attitude. Boy, when you want trouble, you can't find it. <laughs> oh, you dogs don't scare me. My dear friend Nermal will show up here any second now to protect me. Uh, any second now. Garfield! Oh, he's here! He's here to save me! Garfield! <laughs> I just want to tell you, I have to take care of myself. So, you're on your own. Bye! <laughs> oh, I just remembered. <laughs> Mongolian monster fleas. Better run if you don't want to catch them. <laughs> hey, we're not worried. Not one bit. We all went and got flea collars. Liz says you ought to be up and on your paws in a couple of weeks. I can't imagine why you went into that bad neighborhood all by yourself, Garfield. You couldn't have imagined someone was going to come to your rescue, could you? I'm going to go get your medicine. Oh, and Liz says no lasagna or other fattening foods for a couple of months. Garfield, I have the feeling it was in some small teensy way my fault, and I'm gonna make it up to you. So? So, I've decided to stay here and wait on you and be your best friend. <laughs> You're supposed to be in bed, Garfield. Garfield? Where are you? Oh. Aren't you injured? Not as much as you're gonna be. No, Garfield. No, you, you saved my life. No, I got a Mongolian monster. Please, no. The most important meal of the day. Unless you count lunch, afternoon snacks, evening snacks, midnight snacks, 1.30 in the morning snacks, 1.45 in the morning snacks. Garfield, if you damage my brand new smartphone, I'll be very angry. Smartphones are great. You can listen to music, take pictures, make movies, surf the internet. And who knows, maybe one day they'll do important things, like make lasagna. <laughs> Cody chasing his tail. This could be a sensation on the internet. Hmm. <laughs> and cut. Let's check it out. 
<laughs> I'm gonna post the video I just shot online for the entire world to enjoy. Oh, and they will. They will. <laughs> this is gonna be good. <laughs> Wow, my video of John has had almost a million hits in 20 minutes. Have you guys huh? seen my phone? <gasps> nope. Uh -huh. <clears throat> uh, it's got to be around here someplace. Phew, you almost blew it, Odie. How do I get rid of this pooch for a while? Hey, Odie, wanna play fetch? <laughs> See this? Fetch! Mm. Oh, this should keep him busy until halfway through the next episode. Now, I need a new John video for the internet. Please, John, do something stupid. Oh, come on, John, please do something stupid. Better start making dinner. Gotcha. This is great. I gotta get away from here. I'm gonna take a drive. This has not been a very good day. And cut. Ooh, I have to get this on the internet right away. Yikes! Hello? Oh, hi, Liz. John, have you been having a bad day? As a matter of fact, yes. How did you know? Well, turn on the TV and watch the news. Oh, and are we still having dinner in a little while at Vito's? Of course. Good. If you just tuned in, here are some videos of silly accidents that were posted on the internet earlier today. <laughs> They're called the, the Arbuckle Chronicles. And they've had more than 50 million hits in the last 12 hours! <laughs> you did this, Garfield, and you did it with my smartphone. Huh? Don't deny it, and give me back my smartphone. <laughs> Oh, you want to play games, huh? I am dialing the number of my smartphone. <coughs> wow, now how did that get in there? You think this is funny, don't you? I will deal with you later. Right now, I have to go meet Liz for dinner. Oh, John was so upset. I've never seen him so angry. I wish I had a video of it to post. Come on, let's follow him. Hey, isn't that the silly man we saw on the internet? It sure is. <laughs> Hope your car doesn't fall apart again. <laughs> <laughs> John Arbuckle. Oh, I want to thank you. Thank me? For what? For what? For what? Because of your videos. I am no longer the biggest laughing stock on television. And I gotta tell you, boy, I thought I'd look stupid. And then I saw your videos. <laughs> I know what stupid is. <laughs> Don't fall off the chair, John. 
here's your menu. Better decide what kind of food you're gonna spill on yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 Signor Arbuckle, welcome. And uh, my brother in Rome says to say hello. Your brother in Rome knows me? He's the one who sent me the link to your hilarious videos. <laughs> he said everyone in Italy is laughing at you. I mean, I, 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 no, they're <laughs> laughing at me. Uh, let me go get you some minestrone. Excuse me, are you the clumsy dumb guy in the Arbuckle Chronicles video? Yes. Oh, you look so stupid in them. Would you do the skateboard routine again oh. for us? Oh, oh yes, do it! Oh, yeah. 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 Okay, that's it. I've had enough of this. I'm leaving. You people should be ashamed of yourself, laughing at someone else's misfortune. Now. I like a joke as much as the next guy, but there's nothing funny about accidents, about people falling down and possibly hurting themselves. There's nothing funny. Oh my, you think this has gone too far, Odie? Ooh, I have to put this right. I mean, despite being rather dumb, John is a very nice owner and a good provider. He doesn't deserve this. And I think I know how to fix this. You wait here. I need something. Huh? Oh, yeah. Cats just don't get any better looking than this. Hey, Nermal. I'm on my way to audition for a flea collar commercial. After all, I am the cutest kitty cat in the whole wide world. Well, too bad you're not the most famous. What do you mean? I'm not the most famous. You're not very famous. You're not even as famous as John. John? John, the guy who feeds you? He's not famous. You think so, huh? Listen to the buzz on the street. Have you heard the latest on John Arbuckle? Arbuckle, that's the John name. John Arbuckle. 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 How did John get to be so famous? I put him in one of my videos. Millions of people see them. Wow, millions of people? Garfield, could you put me in one of your videos? Huh? <laughs> could you, could you, could you? Well, I might find a way to use you. Just leave everything to me. <laughs> John Arbuckle's 15 minutes of fame are already history. <laughs> <sighs> Thank goodness. A new internet sensation has taken the world by storm. <laughs> Normal, the dumbest. <laughs> <laughs> 120 million hits in the last 24 hours. <laughs> Brace yourself. I laughed so hard, I broke a rib. <laughs> 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 Poor Normal. On the other hand, everyone's forgetting about me. <laughs> Hi, Normal. Ready to shoot another video for the internet? Are you out of your tree, Garfield? You made me look ridiculous. You made me look like an idiot. I will never in a million years be in one of your videos. Okay, have it your way. Come on, Odie, I'll make you look dumb instead. <laughs> Ugh, I can't believe Garfield. Imagine thinking I'd be in another one of his videos after what he did to me. Abigail, isn't that the cat in the video? It is. It's normal. Normal, we love you in that video. You do? We sure do. Oh, that's normal. Where? Oh, hey, hey normal. Oh, I love normal. Come on, do something stupid, Odie, like trip or fall in the mud, anything. Ah, it's no use, it's just too boring. Don't stop shooting, Garfield! Woo! I'll be in your video, see? I have a stupid hat on, and I'll fall in the mud, watch. Oh, and then maybe I could fall out of a tree. Oh, oh, or I'll put on clown makeup or get my feet Normal thinks he's hey, the most famous cat in the world. Oh, oh, oh. But let's not forget uh, whose name is on this show.
Life is good. You're watching your favorite show, and I'm about to watch mine. Odie chasing squirrels. It's showtime! Yuck. That squirrel has no idea where that nose has been. <laughs> oh, this is my favorite thing in the whole world. Garfield! Huh? Your lasagna's ready. After that. We'll be right back with more of the Odie and the Squirrel Show right after this brief timeout for pasta. <laughs> I'm worried, Garfield. Odie never wanders away for this long. How can you just sit there and eat your dinner? I'm not eating my dinner. I'm eating his dinner. I'm going to drive huh? around the neighborhood. Maybe I'll spot him. John? John? Gee, where did he go? He must be missing. Looks like I'll have to eat his dinner, too. Mm. 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 been almost 24 hours since he disappeared. I just printed these up. I'm going to post them all over town. Someone's got to have seen him. All right, it's time for the cat to solve this. I'll find Odie and I'll start by looking... Hmm, I don't even know where to start. I think I'm gonna need some help. <laughs> What's in it for us? Yeah, give us one good reason why we should be looking for a dog. Odie is my best friend. I well, don't think that's a terrific reason. In fact, it's a bad Okay, okay. Here's another very good reason. You're supporting characters on this show. Help me, or you'll never be on it again. Oh, okay. oh that's, that's a good, a good reason. reason. I like yeah, that I reason. Like I'm in. That one, yeah. Good. You all fan out and look for Odie while I coordinate the operation. I can't get that one. Good. Now begin coordinating the operation. <laughs> Of course you can't coordinate an operation on an empty stomach. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> <laughs> Looked 
everywhere. Nobody's seen him. Nobody. How do you lose a tongue that long? All right. It's time for Sherlock Garfield to take over. Sherlock huh? Garfield? <laughs> he thinks he's a yeah. detective. I am. <laughs> Come with me. Time is of the essence. Odie may be in great danger. Eh, it's great to have you back, Spot. The minute I heard you bark, I knew it was you. I said, at last, my faithful Spot has come back to me. I don't see so well these days, but I know your bark anywhere, Spot. It's been so lonely living here all by myself since you went away. I've missed you so much. You're not gonna run away again on me, are you? Good boy. <laughs> Good boy. John is still out putting up posters so I can use his computer. Hey, you live in a real nice house, Garfield. The city has closed circuit video cameras all over the streets to catch drivers running red lights. I've hacked into the city's computer and reconstructed Odie's journey. How did you learn to do all that? Necessity. One night, a pizza delivery from Vito's was running late and I had to track it. The squirrel jumped onto the truck and Odie, being Odie, went after him. He chased the truck across town until it reached the park. And that's where we lose his trail, in the park. And that is where we're going. Whatever you say, Garf. Come on, Lucky. Oh, sure, Garfield. I was just wondering why Odie or anyone would want to run away from a nice home like this. You never had a home? Never. I'm just one of them feral cats living in the street and under buildings my whole life. Oh, you'll get taken someday, Lucky. I'm afraid Lucky isn't so lucky. Huh? Hey, we gotta go find your pal Odie. Let's roll. Wait, wait for me. Gentlemen, I have come to the expert scientific opinion that this is absolutely nothing. Harry, yeah. slobber detector solution. Traces of doggy drool. Ah, I knew it. <laughs> The doggy drill seemed to lead to that fence. Uh, uh, observe. <laughs> a red squirrel hair. A possible witness. You're gonna interrogate a sheep? Of course. He may have seen Odie. But sheep are dumb. They only go ba ba yourself, fella. You're looking for that annoying puppy? Yes, we are. Can you tell us where he went, old woolly one? He went into that forest. Thanks. You don't mention it. Oh. 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 No. This is a very large forest. I used to live under some of these trees. There's an old huh? man who lives in a cabin down that way. Oh, he likes to be around people. Let's go see if he went there. Spot! Hey, Spot! Where are you? I found one of the old doggy toys. Here, you can play with it. And... Spot! Spot! I slipped on that little rug. I, I don't think I'm hurt, but I can't get up. Give me a hand, please. Or, or a paw, or something. <laughs> This is a waste of time. You'll never find him. <laughs> never find him, huh? That's Odie. <laughs> the box! They're coming from that cabin! <laughs> Odie! <laughs> oh, uh, I'm glad to see you too, boy. Hey, what were you doing here? Who's that man? What's he saying? I don't know. I don't speak dog. This old fellow thinks Odie's his long-lost dog spot. Come on, let's help him get up. <laughs> thank you. Uh, thank you, Spot. You're a very good, loyal dog, Spot. I hope you never leave me again. Odie doesn't know what to do. 
He wants to go home, but this man sure seems to need his loyal dog, Spot. Yeah, well, that's not my problem. Mine neither. <laughs> hmm. Of course I have an idea. Lucky, you said you always wanted a home. Ooh, yeah, more than anything. Can you bark? Like a dog? <laughs> Congratulations. I hereby appoint you the new spot. Welcome home. <sighs> we'll be back at our house in no time. Like I was saying, it's so great to have you back with me, Spot. <coughs> good dog, good dog. You missed four meals, but don't worry. I ate them for you. You should be home in time for dinner. <laughs> oh, look. My favorite show is on again. Plus, it looks like I'm going to get an extra dinner. 